Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDT Basics video question line. Today's topic is tolerances with draft. Today's question is, I'm trying to figure out draft on our dimensions. I know that plus draft means that the dimension gets bigger towards the other end. What I don't know is what I'm supposed to use for the tolerances. So let's dig into this concept a little bit here. I've taken a few screenshots from the ASME Y14.8 standard, which is the standard for castings and foragings, where it talks about draft and how to deal with it. One of the tools that this standard gives us is the plus draft and the minus draft that we can add to a size dimension to identify how to handle the draft that's going to be inherent on these features. So we see that for the inside diameter identified here as size of 16.5 millimeters plus or minus 0.1 millimeters, we have a plus draft. And as the question stated, from the parting line, we see that our size dimension is 16.5 plus or minus 0.1 millimeters and it grows, or in other words, adds draft in the direction to grow in size. So it gets bigger the further it gets away from this parting line. And we're always making sure that the draft is opening up away from the parting lines. That's how we allow that the molds or the castings are removed, right? And so the aperture or the opening or the angle of our draft will be defined somewhere on the drawing, maybe in the notes or in our title block, or maybe in the drawing view explicitly, but that angle will also have a tolerance on it. If the angle is in the field of view and there's no tolerance, we rely on our tidal block tolerances to understand the aperture of the opening tolerance for that angle. So if we see something like this, where it's one degree and no tolerance following it, we would go to our tidal block and find the unspecified angular tolerance and apply it to that dimension. We also see that the 16.5 plus or minus 0.1 millimeters is applied to the smaller side of our feature. And we're only measuring the small side and making sure that the size of that dimension is meeting the local size requirements. Again, envelope requirements, as we see in ASME Y14.5, do not apply to these dimensions here. On the flip side, if we see that the 20 plus or minus 0.1 millimeter applied to the ID of this feature, is saying minus draft, we see that it's the opposite. In other words, we are on the other side of our parting line, but we see 20 millimeters plus or minus 0.1, and we are going to shrink or we're gonna get smaller the further away we get, which is closer to the parting line. And so we would check the diameter over here and make sure that that diameter is within 20 plus or minus 0.1 millimeters. And again, you'd have an angle somewhere in the field of view identifying the aperture or the draft angle for this surface, and that would have to be verified in a separate way. Once again, if the angle in the field of view doesn't have a tolerance, we refer to the title block and the unspecified tolerance is there. Additionally, just like any size dimension, if there's no tolerance in the field of view, in other words, we just saw 20 millimeters here, we would also go to the title block to refer to any unspecified tolerances since the tolerances we're not specified immediately in this drawing field of view. Now I mentioned that the ASME Y14.8 is the castings and forgings standard, and it does have a lot more tools than just these plus draft and minus draft. Uh, so if you're in the castings and forgings world or dealing with draft, maybe even plastic injection molding, I highly recommend checking out that standard for a lot of the tools to make your drawings very clear and explicit. Thanks for submitting your question and hopefully that helps out. Our goal is to be your best source for GDT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDNT and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.